We're following up for you on our coverage of a new abortion clinic with plans to open in Pueblo. Now, earlier this week, Pueblo City Council passed on first reading a proposed ordinance that would essentially outlaw abortions within city limits. But opponents claim it would not hold up against other laws already in place affirming the right to an abortion in Colorado. This is Maggie Bryan in studio. You spoke with the woman who wrote this proposed ordinance, as well as how federal and state law might stack up against it. Yeah, that's right. Man, actually, Mark Lee Dickinson wrote this proposed ordinance. He has helped 61 other cities across the nation successfully pass a similar kind of ordinance banning abortion. In the one written for Pueblo, it cites a law dating back to 1873 that Dixon and others say they can, can withstand any challenge. A divisive issue that has packed Pueblo City Council meetings for the past three weeks. Council members voted 4-3 on the proposed ordinance Monday that could outlaw abortion within city limits. This was written to survive a challenge. Mark Lee Dixon helped write the text and has gotten similar ordinances passed in over 60 cities, many in Texas. Uh, we've seen a lot of victories. Pueblo's ordinance is written to require abortion providers in the city to comply with federal law. That law, it dates back to 1873 and is known as the Comstock Laws. Part of it makes shipping or receiving abortion pills or abortion-related paraphernalia a crime. Dixon used the same law to pass an anti-abortion ordinance in Hobbs, New Mexico. But what makes Colorado different is the state already has the Reproductive Health Equity Act passed by legislators in April. It secures the right to abortion for all citizens, which has caused confusion among some Pueblo council members. We've learned that abortion access is protected by the Reproductive Health Equity Act at the state level which means that municipalities like ours legally cannot supersede the state legislation. So then why are we spending time on this? But Dixon says he believes the federal Comstock laws would trump state laws. No decision of the Colorado court and the Colorado legislature in general can change the fact that in the 1870s, Congress passed these laws that are on the books. And if passed, law enforcement would not be able to enforce it. The city would not be involved in enforcing, but it would be private citizens. And the second reading and final vote of the ordinance will be Monday, December 12th at the city council meeting. If the vote is four to three in favor, Mayor Gratisar has the option to veto it. If there are five or more votes in favor, there is no veto option. We will have that decision 